Why do you have a timer on for nine hours? Why'd you have a t this is too loud? Why would you put this all the way? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what? What do you mean? What do I mean? Why is there a timer on your phone for nine hours? I was I needed to time how long was left in the microwave to Nine leave it. hours! <laughs> I forgot to turn it off. I took it out of the microwave, don't worry. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to Uncut Alley. My name is Ali Egg. My name is Chris. We're having quite a time out here. Why did I leave? What a day, to leave. by the way. Yeah, we had a great day. <laughs> For a second, I was like, what the fuck did we do today? We had a great day. Did I say everything I usually say? Yeah. Welcome back to Ankai, my name's Alia, all that. Uh, yeah. Wait, why can't you even how get there? How am I supposed to get there? What? Wait a minute, how am I supposed to get there? Wait, what? I mean, we're not dealing with it yet, right now. We're playing Kingdom Hearts again. What is that? It's been that? a while. And Chris and I were like, oh god, what are we even looking for? Right now we're getting the Frost Gems, we actually prepared for once, and, uh... You gotta get them from the sheltering zones and sea neons, so. What are the sheltering zones? The big-ass fish that carries all the little... Oh, boys. really? Yeah. Those are cool and weird. Yeah. Creepy. So we're getting frost gems. How many we need, Chris? We need... Two. So that should, should be doable, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I hope so. So... You may be asking, oh, you guys had a great day? What made it so great? Well, we went for a drive. I drove for like the first time in five so ever. So Because, what? This is the TV. Sorry, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Continue. Rude. <laughs> I, for, I drove for the first time in forever. Yes. Because if I'm getting a job, I'll need to drive. So we, I was like, you know, I want to I wanna get back into driving with you. So that I'm not as scared. Oh, y'all are out here too? What? Yo, you killed it driving, by the way. Thank it's just, you. It's just natural to you. You know? Thanks, baby. I tell her it's like riding a bike, but she can't ride a bike. Yeah, I can't ride a bike. So saying that just means I can't do it. <laughs> just not what I'm trying to say. <laughs> just telling me I haven't done it in years, so I shouldn't, I shouldn't do it. <laughs> But we went for a drive um, through Solana Beach. Any Californians know where that is? What is under here? Yeah, what the hell? Because, I've never even... Like, it oh, locked on. There was a question mark for a second. I know. Wait, what, what do you I, do with the question mark? Well, you gotta kill everybody before you can activate anything. Can y'all do something? Like, Jesus, why do I have to do everything? That's ridiculous. There are three of us, and nothing gets done when I'm not doing it. Stop swimming this way! Anyway. Yeah, under the sea problems, man. Fucking hate this. Um, and then we went into Del Mar a little bit because you know we have to. We gotta do it. Oh my god, we have the White Trinity now, right? I can oh, do yeah. that. What was that? Was it? What did it lock on to? Mm. Oh, not you. I know you. It was like. Is it this shell? No, it was underneath. I think. This shell? Oh, was it? No. Uh. Whatever. Maybe I'm just bugging. Yeah, maybe. But we gotta do the White Trinity. Anyway, and then we were driving through La Jolla and Bird Rock, and it was so fun! We initially didn't like La Jolla because, you know, it's... It's like the Beverly Hills of San Diego, honestly. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Woo! Yay! Um... And it's all like really expensive. Yeah, we got NorCalco. All right. You want to mark that down? I do. I only need four now. Yay! So it's like very ritzy and um, but like still has like a bit of a wealth disparity, you know? What yeah. Get? Yay! I got one. All right. We only need one more now. Woo! Killing it out here. Um. What was he even talking about? Oh, La Jolla. But there's like a- oh, oh no, we gotta fight you. Weird one. <laughs> Sorry. I'm- You okay? I'm just like so focused. Cause I, the controls are a bit- you talk about it. Talk about why I we didn't like it. I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm trying to talk about why we didn't like La Jolla at first. 
but why why our minds have changed at, during this trip. Chris is going to take it away. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, La Jolla has like a pretty big wealth disparity, like Ali was saying, so you're like, it feels, feels like you're in like one block and things like are really great and then like another one and they're like not great. Um, or at least like you can tell the, the wealth difference very there's quickly. Like, you, there are very clear like where to be and where not to be. Yeah. But maybe we were just reading too into it. Like it's not as bad as most places that we've been. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think, yeah, our, 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 like, sketch meter's been calibrated over time. Yeah, I think because of, like, we were in a very sketchy area in Burlington, so, like, and, like, my anxiety was just at a peak, and I think I've been doing really well with, like, getting better with, like, having utopia expectations, and, but then, like, I don't know. Oh, I think I've just gotten better with my expectations, Yeah. and, like, with what I think is, like, unsafe. For the better, you know? Like, I think I'm willing to accept a lot more, as I should, because, like, not everything is perfect, and, like, you know, there's... Homelessness is a, is a issue of our country, and you kind of have to deal with it. I mean, even small towns have, like, their one... Yeah. Their one person, you know? Yeah, it's true. It's, it is... It's just, like, something it's, to live with, huh? Yeah. So, I've, I've come to terms with it a bit. A bit more. Yeah. But... Um, so maybe we should try again for, like, other strips of La Jolla. Yeah. You know? But this trip, like, we went through near the coast, ways that we had never gone. Ugh. And these houses, bitch. It just, they're all amazing. Every single house. Uh, unbelievable. They're all, like, super modern or, you know, like, some really cool Spanish style. Like, uh -huh. they're all so unique and... Beautiful. A lot of water views. I mean, it started to get dark by that time, so we couldn't see it as much. But like, you, you could hear, hear the ocean, bitch. and yeah, it was just so beautiful. But you know, I, it's I'm getting over a lot of not getting over, but I'm handling my anxieties better and just like accepting them rather than like fighting them and accepting like, all right, I will be anxious for this. However, I'm gonna just go through it. I'm gonna I'm gonna survive through it, and I'll. My anxiety will lessen because now I got through it. Now I've shown yeah. myself that I can do it without things going wrong. If things go wrong, like you know, I'll take some time and I'll, I'll like figure out for myself of how I can recover from it. But also, I'm just starting to like take chances more. I drove, which was so exciting. I know, and it went really well. It went great. She yeah, drove all the way to Del Mar. Yeah. I mean, it's so liberating, right? Like, how did it, it how did it make so you feel? So nice to be able to drive. You just feel so, like, free. I told Chris, I'm like, you can't have this, have the car anymore. I, I want the car now. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for you, like, to come home from work and you tell me about where you went. You know? That piece is so cool. I would like that. I love I that. Just, it, it's very liberating once you do it again. Like, so much of anxiety is just being in your head about something that you haven't done. Or, like, that went wrong once, you know? And, like, yeah. it's fine. I understand. It's hard to get over memories and trauma but so hard. when you do it like you feel so empowered was i nervous of course i was screaming the entire time <laughs> but i didn't not as now... much as you used to scream well it's just because uh, you were there oh thanks but you know now i feel like oh i can do so much more it's just very empowering to like do things that you are, are scared to do yeah you could just like drive to the beach now yeah, I love the beach. Just like whenever you want. That's so cool. I'm really cool. Yeah, you're so cool, man. You're cool. Thank you. But back to my La Jolla thing. I'll get back to the driving in a minute. Just, I want to give it more of a shot. And then we had this big conversation about how like, because I, we both always felt like we were older than, ooh, what's that? Ooh, 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 ooh. Damn, that sucks. We've always felt like we're like older than our generation, you know? Yeah. So a big problem for us is like, I feel like we owe, well, a big problem for me, I always feel like I'm running out of time. And not only that, but that I always had to like be an adult. Like I had to get my shit together by like 20, you know? <laughs> None of my shit's together when I'm 22. And I feel great. Yeah. Like the things that I want together, which was basically like, 
having a happy, healthy relationship, and I'm so happy. I'm working on myself. Like, I'm... I'm at, like, such a great place in my life. You are. I'm so proud. I hope you are. Oh, I'm doing great. But, so, we just... I always felt like I had to, like, have kids by 25 and, like, have a house by t 25, you know? Yeah. So, we just had this big talk and I'm like, I don't see kids, like, for a while. I don't see a house for a while. And I was always looking for, like, my forever home. And, like, Del Mar has consistently stayed my forever home. Although we saw ho like random homeless people there today. That there were four homeless people. My issue is not with them. My issue is I've never seen one homeless person and in one day I see four. It's insane. So I was very confused and I was like, where am I? I mean, I think that all helped I also put like La Jolla into perspective too, I think. Like probably, yeah. You're like, oh, even like even the place we love isn't perfect and Even then that Delmar helps can have right a bad time and then and then in la jolla i didn't see anyone right which is like you know by perspective i mean i usually don't in del mar but i think it changes the perspective for me it wasn't not seeing it in, in la jolla that changed it it's more like seeing in del mar i was like i didn't it didn't feel any shadier no it didn't you know what i mean like the reason other than like homelessness being awful for the person that's experiencing it and I obviously do not blame them or like pass any judgment on them but I just naturally feel like it's a worse area if there's an insane amount of homelessness and I think most people do and I think most times it's transparent like a lower income place will have higher crimes not be not shaming any people but like that's what has to happen when you have no means you know yeah it's correlated in some so, way. So I think, like, just that it didn't take away from it. It didn't take away from its magic. I was just confused. <laughs> I was so confused, too. It's like, what? We were just like, what? So, you know, being able to see that... I don't know where I was going with that. I had, I had no ending to that sentence. Great. It was just interesting to be able to see that. And I think it definitely did put La Jolla into more perspective. Yeah. However... Back onto what I was saying. Um, what was I saying? Well, here, great. No. House is great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I just feel like so much less pressure. I'm just like, we don't need to find our forever home at 22. Yeah. And I was like, let's just move like every year. And, you know, putting yourself in different and like more difficult situations or uncommon situations, that's how you grow. So... You know, let's let's just move to places for a year. You know, like everything in San Diego is still like 20 minutes away from the city. Yeah. No matter where you move, you're most likely still going to be 20 minutes away from wherever you have to work. Which is crazy. Which is amazing. <laughs> it's so cool. But like you can get into so many different like communities and cultures 20 minutes away from everything. So I was just like, let's let's explore places that we're like. You know, I wouldn't live here forever, but I could see myself living here for now. And let's just fucking do it. And Chris was like, yeah, like, we don't need to stay here. We don't need to find our our house immediately. Like, why not just fuck around and just move wherever you want? Change is fun sometimes. Change is fun change. when it's a controlled change. Yeah. You know? That's very so true. So let's just take back change and, like, have our own change. If we have the expenses to move every year, like two years, why not, you know? Oh, yeah. Why not just do it? I mean, we're so young and we'll have so many stories to tell. And we'll get to really, like, figure ourselves out and see what we like in a place and a house and a and a community and a neighborhood. And we'll, and once, you know, this current situation is over, Ugh, can't we'll wait. be able to, to, like, eat in all these random restaurants and go for drinks and like make new friends in different communities and see different backgrounds and and i think it's just gonna be super fun oh yeah and you know i've never been like a wandering person but i suddenly want that freedom of like yeah i'm not like attached to a place really like my biggest attachment is to a person and i wouldn't trade him for anything Aww. but that's kind of all i need you know like i only want to be with Chris. Yeah, we're each other's home. Yeah, so as long as I have him and we have the means to do it, like, 
Why not just live in La Jolla for a year? Yes! Yes! Live in La Jolla for a year. Live in Bird Rock for a year, even though it's part of La Jolla. Live in in uh, Solana Beach for a year. Live in Encinitas for a year. You know, just these places that, like, we like, and we don't know if we'd quite, like, live there forever. But, like, why not? And a lot of these places are, like, very young and very hip, so why not do that when we are young? Why am I doing this? <laughs> So we just came to that realization. That's it was a beautiful nice. realization. Right? Of course. Beautiful. It's very fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, you came for me. We should also, like, consider, like, you know, like, moving in with other people for a year and just, like, fucking trying it. You I know totally what I mean? would. Like, I'd love to move in with some of our friends. Just, like, for a year. It's see how it is. It's the problem getting the friends to want to do it. Yeah, I would do it. Because, like, so many people have had, like, awful experiences. But if it means I can live in a gorgeous, giant, modern apartment. On the, the ocean. Because, like, let's say the rent's, like, 3500 Yeah. Each of us are paying $170. What? Nope. Seven, 1750 you know? Insane. That's super fucking cheap. Yeah, that'd be nuts. So, consider living with friends. Why not? I mean, I wish uh, your best friend had moved here. Like, I feel like he would be such a great person to live with. Yeah, he would be You know, like, he's just such a chill person, and he vibes with us well. All right. So I don't really know what to do, because I think they're all the other ones... I mean, I guess we can go back to Traverse Town and see if we can make anything. Yeah, sounds good. Um, it looks like Gale. I don't think we can make. No. Get. Dark Matter we can't get, right? <laughs> Let me just check the stones real quick. Yeah. While he does that... Now that I've finished my La Jolla slash Damar slash what we went, what we, what we realized story, I'll go back to my, uh, I was telling you another story and I forgot it. What was I, what else was I talking about? How it's a good day, right? Yeah, but there was something else about our drive that I mentioned. Um. I don't remember what it. Fuck, I don't know. Oh, there was a point and I said back to what I was saying when you like brought it up. Oh no. <sighs> Welcome, Koopo! Uh, if I say a name, is it like spoilers? I can read it. Here's one. Stealth soldier. <laughs> okay, well I could just say it then. Uh, fuck, can you look up where he is? Yeah, I got it. I think he's in the next world, but I don't remember. Look, we can make cosmic arts. Why can we make cosmic arts? What's different? What did we get? Oh, the mithril stones, right. Oh. So I was like, none of these are frost gems. Sorry if you're scratching. I have, like, dry skin on my wrist, and it's acting up. There you go, Koopo! <laughs> yeah, they're in... They're in... Where we... I mean, been there already. They're in the first room. So sick, sick. We could probably get them pretty easily. Let me check the other. Where is greatly raises max HP, max MP, and max AP. Um, I'm not feeling nom, it. Nom 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 nom. Mm, no, I don't want Goofy's defense to go down. All right, maybe we do that, but let's see if. Oh, that was Donald. Oh, then we're definitely doing that. I thought it was goofy. I'm stupid. Don't mind me. What the fuck was I talking about? What tangent did we go off of? We, what, we talked about Del Mar. Oh my god. The tangent about how we are... We gotta move and stuff? No, that was my main point. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I just want to talk about why, why we like La Jolla now? Yeah. We didn't really get to that, did we? I don't think so. It's just like really gorgeous and it was a very nice like it just I mean other than being very rich and gorgeous it just felt like a I don't know it just felt nice and like why not just go for it for a bit you know I'm just gonna fight him because I feel like it. All right so yeah yeah I've been just looking and looking. Rocking and rolling and rolling, rolling and, and rocking. rocking. Apparently, um, dark matter can be synthesized. Yes, it can. But How? we need things from the, um, from the next world. Ah, oh, damn. That sucks. And in various chests. 
Yeah, we've gotten some. Like we, we have, have some. Yeah, we need four more though. That's a lot. You need four more. Ooh. Same, I think, with Orichalcum. It's pretty hard to find. We can make it, right? Can we make Orichalcum? Uh. We can buy it at a certain point. We can't buy it yet. When does it say when we can buy it? Yeah. Cool. Wait, did we do that? I don't know what is it. No. Okay. Yeah. We did not. Cool. <laughs> we have not. <laughs> we have not locked anything recently. Okay. Hey, look a key. Ooh, a key. <laughs> I mean, a, you know what I mean. God damn it. Keyhole. So yeah, we can't do anything else. Cool. The list, yeah. list is useless. Go live your lives, people. Change is, isn't always bad. Go experience the world in a different lens and, and move somewhere. And move somewhere. Quit your job and get a get a different one that you want. That's how you grow. By by being in other places, you know? Flowers grow out of the ground. They don't stay in there. If they stayed in there, then they wouldn't be growing. Sometimes you gotta leave to, to really sprout, to really blossom. Oh. It's a good time. It was beautiful. I think it's a pretty good time. Thank God. I mean, it's like... It's like I have nothing else to say. Yeah, it's and a perfect time. I don't want to start a new world. <laughs> all right. Well, I hope I finished all my thoughts. Please feel free to ask questions or like be like, hey, you were actually talking about this and you forgot to go back to it. All I know is Chris and I had a wonderful day. And oh, yeah. And La Jolla is, has grown on me. It's pretty nice. It feels like Beverly Hills, but like... Beverly Hills is pretty nice. I want to go there sometime. Um, don't care what people think about you. Like, I'm sure people would be like, wow, you're going to move around that much? Like, yeah, I don't have any fucking responsibilities. But Chris and I both consensually like, let's move somewhere. Fucking who's going to stop us? No one. Not me. We don't have a kid that's going to get this place. Like, no, we're having a great time. If we can still get to our jobs, who cares? Yeah. And just do you. Change is good when you want it, and everybody involved is consensual, and you can do it, you know? Just be you. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day, and happy boy day. Boy. Love you. Bye. Boy, everybody. Boy, everybody. I'm British now. This is Hello. Good boy. Good boy. See you later. See you later. Boy. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Did you drop your glasses again? My phone.